And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Uta Arad versus Botoshani. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. And the match begins. And a strong tackle. Real chance. And a goal. They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Benzar. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Very quick thinking there. This looks interesting. He's given us away. Milosevic. Fruitful looking attack. A chance to whip it in. Couldn't quite hang on. And the corner's been given. And the short option preferred. Must score! Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that.
They might be able to get in now. Could be. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. And there's the delivery. Teammates available. Is this the moment? And fine goalkeeping. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. Threat over for now, it seems. Ali Abeid. Stefan Milosevic. Disappointing pass. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when... Oh, Stuart, they must score! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Anton. Milosevic. On the offensive. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. So nearly at half time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Ivanov. Promising sequence. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Happy to take on the shot, and that's sound goalkeeping. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Last man back, and job done. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations, and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. 
Very quick thinking there. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Crossing opportunity. Andre Kindrich. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And teammates around him. Takes it on. Oh, really close with that effort. So making the substitution now. to the final half hour determined defending Roman and they know they need to stop him it needs an accurate cross Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Benzar. The cross is on. Opportunity. And a goal. Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. That's a useful cross. And after the cross, defensive action called for. And that was a very fine read. Promising pass. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Straight forward for the keeper. Abade. to really get at the opposition here well the two sides still locked together and a set piece a corner can make all the difference so a personnel change then and short it is Still looking for space, and a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters.
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So there we have it, 2-1. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, time is against them, they have work to do. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.